So collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. That would lead us to believe that we have plenty of it and that we never have to worry about getting extra, right? Well, collagen is very, very critical. And if we start running low on collagen for any reason, that's when we can start having some problems. Maybe you end up with some wrinkly skin or maybe your joints start to hurt. Well, if we start to understand how collagen is actually formed in the body, we can have a clear path to rejuvenating our skin and ultimately feeling better too. You see, the way collagen is formed is rather unique. It's pretty simple in theory, it's just basic amino acids. But these amino acids are combined with specific complexes that ultimately twist it into what's called a helix. Okay, if you were to just take proteins and assemble them, they wouldn't really do a whole lot. But when they're twisted into this helix form that I'm talking about, they form a scaffolding. Okay, and it's that scaffolding that gives the body structure. It's that scaffolding that makes collagen unique. Okay, it's what's giving our joint structure, what's giving our skin elasticity, what's giving our muscle structure. If we didn't have collagen and we didn't have these helixes, we would like, be just a puddle of mud. Okay, so the interesting thing is, is that because collagen is so complicated in terms of how it's actually assembled, it gets fairly complicated to actually break down as well. Okay, if we were to just consume regular collagen, our body has to disassemble and sort of reverse engineer everything that's going on with that collagen before we have the tools available to build it in our own body. The best analogy that I could give is if you have a skyscraper that's over in New York City and you want that exact same skyscraper to be over in San Francisco, you can't just pick up and move that skyscraper. No, you have to look at the blueprint, you have to reverse engineer, and you have to kind of disassemble, and then you have to construct it in San Francisco. Okay, the same thing happens with collagen. When you consume collagen peptides, your body has to break them down, it has to break down these helixes, it has to break down these bonds, and then you have the amino acids, and then your body has the ability with its own sort of brew of ingredients to build its own collagen when needed. Okay, so it's not as simple as A equals B, okay? Now, we also run into a bunch of absorption problems. You see, most collagen is hydrolyzed into amino form by the time it reaches our intestinal tract, by the time we eat it. We want it in peptide form, okay? Peptides are what we ultimately want. So when it's broken down into aminos, we don't absorb it nearly as well. We're not getting the solid peptide form that we need. So we're not even getting the basic ingredients that we need in the first place, unless we're taking a good amount or we're doing some really good things with our overall nutrients from our diet that allow us the ability to assemble collagen from bare bones ingredients, for lack of a better term. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna break down ways that you can actually support your own collagen production within your body. You see, you have the goods already. Sure, you can eat collagen, you can go ahead and do that, and you can get some benefit from it, but you already have the makeup for collagen within your body. You just have to brew up the specific ingredients and give your body the resources that it needs to actually assemble collagen properly. So let's take a look at what Sun Warrior's done. Okay, Sun Warrior has come up with a collagen building peptide product. Okay, entirely vegan formula. So you can actually get these collagen peptides coming into your body and utilize them better, utilize the ones that are existing in your body without having to consume any kind of animal collagen. So let's take a look at the ingredients. The first thing that they utilize is fermented brown rice protein. Now, brown rice gets a bad rap because of course it's a grain. Now, when we're talking about the context of protein peptides, we're not talking about the whole grain. We're talking about the amino acids and the protein peptides being extracted from a fermented version of brown rice, okay? So it's brown rice that already has some of the bad starches sort of digested already because it's fermented, and then the proteins are extracted. These are short chain proteins, which means that they're easy for the body to break down, and it's easy for the body to assemble or disassemble what it ultimately needs to build collagen within your body with, of course, its glycine, arginine, and proline. But those are just the basic peptide building blocks. What about all the other things we need? Okay, the other thing that Sun Warrior adds in is something called tremella mushroom. Now, you've probably heard about tremella mushroom floating around on the internet, right? It's kind of a super mushroom. What tremella mushroom does is it helps draw water to specific areas. Now, it can hold 500 times its weight in water. That's what's really cool about tremella. So when you're looking at overall skin nourishment, when you're looking at uh, protecting yourself from wrinkles, or when you're looking at just achieving better complexion, Tremella mushroom is really just a gold mine. Now, Tremella is made up of what are called polysaccharides. So it's these long chain sugars that are sort of like beta glucans, if you've heard of those, that provide a lot of structure and sort of proper water retention within our skin. Now, when I say water retention, I don't mean getting puffy and holding water in a bad way. No, I mean getting the right amount of water in your skin so it's 
moisturize and nourish so you don't get bags in your eyes, you don't get wrinkles and crow's feet, things like that. Now the other cool thing is that tremella mushroom already stimulates the production of hyaluronic acid within your body. Now, if you're a girl, you've probably heard of hyaluronic acid because it's in a lot of beauty products. If you're a guy, maybe you haven't, but it's important for you too because hyaluronic acid is highly moisturizing, not just for our skin, but for other areas of the body too. Hyaluronic acid, just one gram holds six liters of water. So you can imagine what that can do when it comes down to kind of reducing the look of wrinkles, the appearance of wrinkles or circles under your eyes. But one of my favorite things that tremella mushroom does is it actually increases what's called superoxide dismutase complicated word, but basically a very powerful free radical scavenger. So it goes around and it gets rid of a lot of things that can make your skin dry and wrinkly and the things that can make your joints hurt. All right, let's go ahead and let's move on to bamboo. Now, we all think of bamboo as just something that panda bears eat, but bamboo is the highest natural source of silica. And silica is required when it comes down to collagen formation. It's also very, very good for your hair, skin, and nails to begin with. Now, another thing that bamboo has is biotin. I'm sure you've heard of biotin. Biotin, of course, also good for the hair, skin, and nails. It gives you that nice shine to your hair when you want it. The interesting thing is that silica and biotin are both required to create the hydroxylating enzymes that form collagen. So that hydroxylating enzyme activity is what essentially allows the helix to be formed, that scaffolding to be built. It's kind of, in a way, the nuts and bolts of the scaffolding. So without those hydroxylating enzymes, we can't really form collagen. That's why biotin is so important for the hair, skin, and nails. It's the part that people don't talk about. It's important because it plays a role with collagen production. Okay, so now let's talk about something else that's in this compound. Okay, we're talking about sea buckthorn berry. Now, this sounds like some crazy weird thing that's harvested from coral or from the bottom of the ocean, but it's not at all. What it is is essentially a really cool fruit, I guess that's what you could call it, that's very high in omega-7 fats. Now, omega-7 fats are sort of the WD-40 of collagen building. Okay, whenever you're building anything, you have to have things lubricated and working well. And omega-7s play a big role in that. So very high in omega-7s naturally, but additionally, high in a whole food natural form of vitamin C. Not the azorbic acid vitamin C that you're gonna see in most supplements. Vitamin C is probably one of the most pivotal things to building collagen. When amino acids bind together to form collagen, they bind with vitamin C. It's one of the biggest, most powerful uses of vitamin C. We think it's all important for the immune system. It's probably even more important for overall scaffolding building, collagen. When vitamin C binds to these aminos, it forms the hydroxyl group. This is the hydrogen and the oxygen that's required to form that strong helix. Otherwise, you just have, again, amino acids bound together. If you were to take just amino acids and string them together, you wouldn't magically create something, right? But if you take amino acids and you string them together and you add a little fairy dust of vitamin C along with some of these other things like omega-7 along with these other compounds that allow it to be built, then you have the structure that you want, right? It's like if you just take the aminos, it's like you're just laying all the ingredients out on the floor. It's like if you're building a table, you have the tabletop and the legs just all on the floor and maybe you have the nuts and bolts on the floor too, but nothing's actually assembling. Vitamin C is what allows that to actually get assembled. It's almost like the worker, if you want to call it that. Last but not least, Sun Warrior's Collagen Booster also has hyaluronic acid in it. Remember, I talked about all the benefits of hyaluronic acid, and you're probably seeing it a lot in all kinds of beauty supplements. But if we do have it in a natural form within this product as well, then it makes it so that you not only get the benefits of everything that is allowing you to build collagen, but you're also getting the short-term benefits of holding water in the right places so your wrinkles do look better or don't exist in the first place. So as always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here with Sun Warrior. I encourage you to think outside the box when it comes to collagen. It's not always tit for tat. It's not always one plus one equals two. Sometimes it really is one plus one equals six, seven, eight, whatever it might be. When you look at the human body, it's complex and we don't know everything. So let's give our body the tools that it needs because it probably does know everything. I'll see you soon. Plant-based collagen building protein peptides. No hooves, no hides. No horns. Sun Warrior.